Hi, I'm Ben Ciccarelli with IWS Sales, and behind me is a 38-foot Renegade Valencia bunk bed model, and I'm really excited to share it with you. All of you followers have been asking for a walkthrough of one of these. It's been several years, and I'm sitting here on the Ciccarelli farm today, and it's no better day in April 1st, and it's just RV season. So what better way to start this out by taking a Valencia out and showing you all about it? Before we get on the walkthrough, I just want to tell you a little bit about us. This may be your first time watching a video from IWS and you're looking at buying a Renegade. I want to tell you a little bit about us and then I'll get to the video. But IWS, we're in Mountain Home, Idaho, uh, which is 30 minutes south of Boise, Idaho. We're one of Renegade's top dealers in the country. And you can watch a lot of our testimonials and I'll get into a little bit more about why you should buy from us. But the reason we're making these videos, you're gonna see that our videos are longer than most everybody. We try to slow down and show you all the little nuances. You know, this Valencia behind me is, you know, starts MSRP around 300,000. Uh, and so if you're gonna spend $300,000, we want you to make sure you're fully informed and you feel like you're making a confident purchase. And being a Super C, th this is a different category for many people. We're used to seeing the Class A's, the Class B's, and the Class C's. So this Super C thing is kind of new in the industry. Um, and we own these personally. We, we know what they're about. And so we're going to show you all the benefits, the features, and the quirks about them. Uh, and, and a lot of you have been asking, how does a Valencia perform? <laughs> how does it drive? How does it tow? Um, and we're going to do that today. We're going to start with telling you all about the chassis first. We're gonna do a full exterior walk around, an interior walk around, and then we're gonna finish this video up with the drive. We're gonna climb a hill, uh, cause I know a lot of you out on the forums have been wondering about that. How does this thing do? Well, we're gonna show you all that and we're gonna just tell you what everything there is to know about these. So uh, I wanna also make a disclaimer, this video is gonna be long, but Scott, our marketing man, he's gonna put links in the description so that you can skip through this video, but bear with me, it's gonna be long. Uh, we're gonna talk to you as if you'd never bought a Renegade before or a Super C. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we go, let's get started. Maybe I should start first by telling you, where does the Valencia line up in the Renegade lineup? Renegade has a lot of different models. They got about 10 different ones. And so where does this thing stack up? Well, this is really what you would say is the entry level or the starting point into the true Super C category. And from a price standpoint, it's entry level because we have coaches that are 300,000 like this one, and we have coaches that are 800 plus. <laughs> but this, you're gonna buy a Valencia because you want the Renegade quality and you want a Super C, but you might not wanna spend 800,000. <laughs> so let's talk about what makes the Super C a Super C. Well, first of all, you can see behind me, this is a Freightliner S2 RV chassis. Um, and many manufacturers actually use this chassis um, because it's a great one. Uh, this particular unit has a 33,000 pound GVWR, which means it's a, uh, which stands for gross vehicle weight rating. So that means Freightliner, just Freightliner themselves designed this truck, this chassis to haul, to brake, to move 33,000 pounds day in and day out. So it's, it's designed to, for hauling, for moving stuff. This Valencia, as it sits dry, weighs, I just looked at the scale weight, 26,000 pounds. So that, is, that means before I add fuel or water or anything to it, I have 7,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. We're gonna get into all the details of how much water and propane and what that, but to tell you, when this thing's full of fuel, water and propane, that's another 2,000 pounds, even with it fully loaded, I still have 5,000 pounds of stuff I can put in there. So for all of our customers, you can stack your bowling balls, your uh, gold bars, all those things, anything you can make fit, it's gonna haul it. This thing also has a 12,000 pound towing capacity or uh, in a 46,000 pound gross combined weight rating. So Freightliner rates this and says, as much as the coach weighs and whatever your trailer weighs, those things combined can weigh up to 46,000 pounds. So to put that in perspective, 
everything from the the axles to the airline the rear airline suspension the tires the brakes everything is designed to move that weight in every day so that is why we call this a super c it's it's more chassis than it is motorhome in a lot of ways so um this is a very, very capable chassis. Just because it's entry level doesn't mean it's not a super C. It's, it's very super. <laughs> Talk about the engine now. This has the Cummins 6.7 liter diesel engine and it has 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. And I wanna educate our buyers a little bit as well because 360 horsepower, you might be saying, man, my pickup truck has more than that. Well. One of the things we try to educate you on is the torque number is really what you need to be focused on when buying a coach. And to give you a difference, my, this, is a, this is a very basic definition of torque and horsepower. But torque is how much work you can do, how much this thing can pull, how, how, how quickly it can accelerate. And in these diesels and in these, in these RVs, we're really looking at the torque because you want to know you know, this thing's 26,000 pounds, as I mentioned, so torque is gonna be moving the chassis. It's gonna be getting it up a hill. And the horsepower is really how quickly I can get from point A to point B. Everybody knows horsepower, it's a, it's a rating we all, we love to see. But 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque, that is very optimal for this size of RV. Um, and we're gonna get into, on the drive, a little bit of like, how does it perform on a hill? What do those things do? But um, we love this engine. A little bit about IWS, we sell towing equipment. That's how we made our living for a long, long time. We used to own a towing company. We've owned Freightliner M2106s. We sell them on a daily to our commercial customers with this same engine. Um, and they go 200 to 300,000 miles before we trade them in um, on, the, on the towing side. And they're designed to go day in and day out to perform work. Um, to give you a perspective, this engine, uh, you know, the Cummins, the, the, the oil change intervals are every 15,000 miles or every six months. Um, and it's, it's really a very capable engine, something that's been around for a long time and something that you should totally feel 100% confident in, in its performance. This thing has the Allison transmission, the Allison 3000 transmission that's mated to it. And, we love the Allison transmission. You'll see the Allison different models spec to cross our entire lineup. And Allison has a great name. If you don't know anything about a transmission, um, Allison has one of the best names there is in, in the industry and across the automotive world. This is a very smooth transmission. It's a six speed automatic. Um, so when I hop in it, it, I press a button and go, it drives just like my F-150 does as far as my comfort, how it shifts. These things have come a long way as uh, far as what people look at this and say, it drives like a truck. Well, that's what we're looking for out of this thing. But between the Allison 3000 transmission, this Cummins 6.7, it's a very smooth and harmonious relationship. Um, and every time somebody hops in one of these and drives, they it it's a breeze. All right, let's do a walk around on this side of the of Valencia. So here we go, LED headlights. Really happy that they're specking these from Freightliner and Renegade. LED headlights are such an upgrade over just basic halogen headlights. It's a great safety feature. I love these at night, great performing headlight. Right here, You'll see this is your uh, blind spot camera. So when you turn your blinker on, when you're driving down the road, left or right, it's on both sides of the coach, you're gonna see the blind spot and you're gonna see the car sitting there in your blind spot. Uh, we also have marker lights across the coach. This is one of them. But right here, I wanna talk about this. This may be new to you. This chassis, it is a Super C, it's a Freightliner. It has air brakes, so um, a very, very powerful brake system. It's what they use on the commercial side, air brakes. Um, these are aluminum Alcoa wheels, a very, very nice wheel. Um, Bridgestone tires, you know, Renegade doesn't cheap out on, we get a name brand tire. These are very, very good tires. Right here is your hood latch for opening the hood. Here, these mirrors. Don't look like much, they're just a mirror. But I can tell you, I'm gonna talk a lot about the ergonomics of this thing and why this is designed and why people buy a Super C. Freightliner builds these chassis, and especially on the commercial side, 
for drivers, businesses to make their living day in and day out. And so these mirrors are perfectly designed to show a wide vehicle like this, a tall vehicle, a long vehicle. So there is blind spot cameras, but I gotta be honest with you, me, I drive a lot of these, but these mirrors are great for seeing my blind spot, great visibility. They're really designed for a coach this large. Um, we have an engine block heater right here. In Idaho, we don't typically have to do that, but if you live in Canada or North Dakota, uh, like a lot of our friends do, this is a great feature already put there. Just plug a cord in, good to go. Renegade does a nice job and Freightliner combination of making this look very, very nice. There's no ugly aluminum fuel tank here. Um, the fuel tank is actually not here. The def tank is right here, diesel exhaust fluid. And this is a 10 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. But everything's right here for you. It has a nice step. The door, the entry door. There's three doors in this coach. Uh, why is that special? Well, if you look at a class C or a uh, class A, there's really only one door for the most part. So what we love about this is one, it's designed to easily get in and out of. There's quite a few grab handles to get in and out. So it's very comfortable for me to get in, out. But also, if you just think about from a safety perspective, right? If anything does happen, I have multiple exit points. Um, and also when I go to a fuel station to fill up my DEF or my diesel, I really like being able to just hop right out. Instead of having to walk through the middle of the coach, open the door, wait for the steps to come out. This is, this is way nicer for that, it really is. Um, and as I mentioned, if you are getting at service, the technician can just come right in here and they don't have to walk through your beautiful coach. Okay, um, moving on down the line, we're gonna go through the storage compartments here um, of, of this 38 foot bunk bed model. To just give you a little bit of an overview of this Valencia, this right here is a slide out. This is where we have your dinette table and your furniture, um, your, your slide of bed sofa. And you can see the two frameless windows here uh, that can pop out and open up. And right over the top of the slide is a slide topper. Some people call them awnings, but it's a protective uh, cover that protects pine needles, leaves, things like that from falling into the slide and jamming things up. Um, you know, a lot of the places we go in Idaho, we're always underneath the tree, it seems. So uh, that protects your slide out. This right here is also the brickyard uh, paint scheme, and I love Renegade's paint design. Uh, this is a very, very cool looking coach. Um, <laughs> this is a really an evolution of the industry. Everybody's designing these sharp lines, really cool colors. Um, and we have other color options if you wanna order some as well. I think, I think we're up to about seven different color options on the Valencia, but this is one of our favorites here as well. All right, we're gonna work our way down and talk about all the storage compartments. This is really the fun side of the RV because all the mechanic stuff is here. So let's go nice and slow. First thing you're gonna notice on all of our compartments is they have a really nice grab handle and all of them are lockable. They're not power locks, uh, but what I love about the Renegade product compared to most of the competitors out there, they have this double latch system, which makes it a really, really sturdy door and makes it just an effort to close. And by having two latches, can't believe I'm talking so much about latches, but when you have a single latch in the center, you can really get flex in the door. Um, so these are really solid, all on a gas strut. All things to love about a door. <laughs> All right, lots going on in here. These are batteries. <laughs> and the two batteries right here are what we call the chassis batteries. So they are just batteries tied directly to starting the truck and running the truck portion of the RV. Now over here is what we call the house batteries. Everything that runs the house side of the coach or the RV, right? And I'm really excited about this. We optioned this coach with 300 hours of lithium, or 300 amp hours of lithium batteries, and these are Dragonfly. So to give you a little perspective of, you know, people wanna know what's the advantage of lithium, right? How long can I run the coach? I got solar panels, 
This one in particular has 375 watt panels we spec'd with it. So this is the best battery and solar package we can spec from Renegade. And that's how we stock everything is we want you to get the best. So let's talk about the use case of this, right? So you're buying a Super C, we talked about how, how capable the chassis is. We want your RV portion to be just as capable. So no kidding, we have this same battery set up on our personal coach. Uh, and we, you can use this coach, it depends on your use, but if you're running your, your fridge all day, you're using TVs, you're charging things, you're running hair dryers, you're running the microwave, you're, you're really going at this thing full blast. I will tell you that you can use this thing confidently eight to 12 hours of actual using. Now, what you're gonna find is between running the air conditioner, when you're driving down the road, the alternator on this truck also uh, charges the batteries. You, uh, have to run the generator to run your air conditioners if you're boondocking. So honestly, what I can tell you is that like me and my dad, when we're camping, <laughs> we don't run into issue with these lithium batteries ever running out of juice on it. This is a very, very capable system. And investing in lithium is a good idea for people that really like to boondock or dry camp. Both terms are the same. <laughs> if you're out off the grid, this is the best package hands down to get is the lithium package and our solar panel setup. Um, and if you want more batteries or you want more things like that, you can get a custom quote from us. But honestly, this is what we would do on our personal coach. Okay, one other little juicy fruit in here that you're gonna see is there is actually way back in there an airline chuck. So that is directly tied to the truck. As I mentioned, this has air brakes, it has air seats, and it also has a little outlet there for you for air. So I can run a pneumatic tool. Um, also from a safety perspective, I can fill up my tires uh, with this thing here. So it's a really nice safety thing to have. I have electrical outlets throughout the coach, but having air on board that I can use, pretty neat. Moving down, here we go. Ah, propane. Not too much to talk about here. However, this is a really nice size propane tank. This is a uh, 20 gallon propane tank. And the propane is going to run your hot water, it's gonna run your furnace, and it's gonna run the propane stove. But this size of tank has been around for a long time. Renegade's done a good job. This is an appropriate size for this, for this unit. This right here is not too exciting, but this is where your black tank and your gray tank are located. Um, and there's 75 gallons of black tank and 75 gallons of gray tank capacity, 150 gallons of fresh water. And the fresh water tank is underneath the bed. So straight out of the box, this thing is really ready to go um, to help you drive late in the fall. It's a, it's a winter coach that you can drive in. Um, these tanks are insulated and they have uh, holding tank heaters. So there's heated strips that you can turn on as well. Um, so I'd have no problem using this thing in the winter. Um, there's some tips and tricks we can give you if you're gonna be in the heart of Alaska trying to use this. Um, we might not recommend it for uh, below zero temperatures, but there's definitely, this thing is very well set up out of the box to use in cold temperatures. Again, talking about here, your, uh, your tank, black tank, gray tank. This is a little monitor here that visually will tell you if you're about halfway full. There's monitors all over this thing. So uh, inside the coach on the iPad we give you, you'll know how much uh, gray tank, black tank you have left. Um, but just to tell you a little bit about this, right here is actually where you put your RV hose. So when you go to dump your gray tank and your black tank, you would actually hook it up right here. And there's a little spout here that you can run the hose through um, so that when you're at an RV park, you can leave it connected. Um, or that's just, if you need to dump at the end of your weekend, it's right there. But um, what we like about that is it's not exposed to the elements. It's not underneath the coach. It's in this nice compartment, easy to access, easy to work on. Here we go, okay. Here is our water management bay. And 
What I like about this is Renegade really just gets to the point. There's, these are all laser cut or, or uh, plasma cut it out so you can see there's no, not very many decals on here that are gonna fall off. This is a very nice, easy to see. But let's talk about everything that's in here for a second. Um, we have a monitor system in here. So as I mentioned, you can uh, see your tanks from outside the coach as well as inside the coach. We have both of our valves, black tank and gray tank, and those are physical valves that you can pull um, to dump those things. There is a black tank wash, uh, which is nice. It's a sprinkler inside of your black tank, so you can clean it um, and try to keep it more sanitary. Uh, there's a cable hookup, which doesn't seem like anybody uses anymore, but Renegade's there. So for those of you that are still using cable, it's there um, for an RV park or anything like that. Um, there's a valve there to adjust from using city water to filling up my tanks. Uh, and also, just to tell you a little nuance about Renegade, what I love is 150 gallons of fresh water. That's going to take, depending on how fast your water's coming in, quite a while to fill up. But the nice thing is once it's full, it just comes out the bottom of the coach. So it's really easy to see when I'm full. Um, there's a low point drain valve there. This has a whole house water filtration system. So you can easily change your water filter there. It's not difficult to change, very easy to do, very easy to maintain. Right there is where you're, you can put your, uh, your sewage hose. It's a nice storage point for it. Uh, we also have a turnout valve there so you can run your fresh water hose. The great part about this coach finally is we optioned it with a power hose reel. So here you go. This thing here, I can just pull it out and it goes right back in. A very nice feature. I, uh, we definitely recommend it on getting this. It's just a really nice convenience feature. There we go. I think that's all we got for, for this, but make, Renegade does a great job of making water management and your sewage dumping a breeze. I get the question all the time, so let's go ahead and talk about it. What is that? That is the exhaust pipe for the chassis and it looks pretty low um, and everybody goes hey that looks too low how's the ground clearance well i'll tell you the honest truth i've owned, we, chuck my dad been camping in a hard renegade for we've had several different reiterations over the last 10 years and we have never hung up an exhaust point in 10 years and thousands of miles so take that as you will not saying you won't hang it up but i haven't yet <laughs> Ah, there she is. Okay, the diesel generator. This is also a Cummins. Uh, this is a Onan brand, or Cummins makes these things. Um, their, their engines are red and their generators are green. Um, this is an 8,000 watt generator. And this thing is probably over spec for, for this coach, but this is, we spec these on any 38 foot Renegade um, even on our Renegade Classics, uh, get the same generator. So it's a really good generator. Um, you'll see that they put this actually in a lot of Kubota, like tractor engines, um, same technology. So when you read the owner's manual, this thing is designed to run for thousands of hours. And it's also, when you look at the owner's manual, it says, we'd rather you run it for two to three hours rather than 30 minutes. And so we always tell our customers, really enjoy this thing, man. Like run your air conditioner. Um, it's springtime here. You can see the sun beating on me. Run the air conditioners, use this thing because they're meant to run. Um, and we love seeing customers that trade these in with thousands of hours on them because that means they got some enjoyment out of it. Okay, last compartment here. Last but not least here, we have our 36 foot shore cord and it's on a power wind reel. It has a turnout at the bottom so you can go through the bottom of the coach and be able to close the door. But it's really nice, this thing just pulls out and it's easy to retract just like so. Inside of here you also have a 110 outlet to charge something else, but also just a great spot for extra storage on this side of the coach. All right, that's gonna do it for us on this side of the coach. We're gonna flip it around so we can show the back side of the coach and the uh, curb side of the coach and talk about all the quirks and features on that side. All right. Okay, we're at the back of the Valencia and you're gonna see a couple of cool things. 
One, this beautiful rear fiberglass cap. Renegade does a really nice job with their molding, their paint design, integration of the lights, the Valencia logo. Up top, you'll see some marker lights and you'll see your backup camera. We also have rear backup lights and docking lights that you can switch on. And then sticking out the back, that's the generator exhaust. Here is our electric trailer brakes and lights. And here we go, the hitch, 12,000 pound towing capacity and a 1,200 pound tongue weight rating. So how much weight can go up and down up on the tongue here? Um, we're gonna spend some more time talking about the capabilities of, of this while we do go on the drive. But a lot of people wanna know, can it really tow 12,000 pounds? How well does it tow 12,000 pounds? Many of you have a uh, trailer that when it's loaded is going to weigh 10,000 pounds. You want to tow your F-150 or your Super Duty that weighs four to 7,000 pounds. Can this thing do it? Well, yes, absolutely. It's rated for it. We talked about the capabilities of the gross combination weight rating. This thing is designed to actually haul that weight. So from a tow, like from a payload capacity, absolutely. And flat towing a vehicle, there's gonna be essentially zero tongue weight on it. Very capable. However, what a lot of you wanna know, I see on the forums, how well does it pull that 10,000 to 12,000 pounds, right? And that's where I think where you can get in a bit of a conversation. Um, you know, in our opinion, it does a great job. However, you will see a decrease in speed when you're going up a hill, when you're towing that much weight. Um, and that's what you get with this entry level starting point, but you're talking 50 miles an hour when you're pulling a loaded trailer up a hill. But when you're going on a flat surface, I can keep 70 miles an hour all day long. Yeah, I don't feel it. it it's a very capable chassis in that standpoint. But we gotta remember, we also offer coaches with 600 horsepower and 1850 foot pounds of torque. They're also 500,000 more than this thing. So as we like to say, there's levels to it, <laughs> but make no mistake, wanna make it very clear, it can tow this 12,000 pounds we're talking about. Now, how fast you get to your destination, that might be up to you. And, and we have other options as well if you want more performance, but this is a great rig to tow your, your, your vehicle or your trailer behind you. I would do it all day long without a hesitation. Okay, let's make our way down the curb side or the passenger side of the vehicle. Lots of storage compartment space on this side of the Valencia and really where you're, you want the storage space because this is where you're gonna put your cookout, this is where you're gonna put your, your grill, your fire, uh, picnic tables. This is the side you want storage on. Um, and quite a bit of storage space here. Um, and Renegade does carpet in all of these, which I really like. It makes it easy to clean, vacuum out, um, but plenty of storage here. More storage in this compartment as well. And here we have a propane quick connect. That quick connect is so that you can really run anything that is powered by propane. So it's an auxiliary, um, connection here so you can run your campfire grill you can run a campfire <laughs> um, anything you want from that and it connects right to your 20 gallon propane tank ah okay here we go this is our great big billy uh, storage compartment Something that Renegade's really done evolving over the years is adding more and more creative ways to get storage space. And here you can actually see this thing goes underneath here. So we have our truck frame here and they've integrated some more space in here. So much so it echoes. <laughs> All of our storage compartments also have lights inside of them. But one of the, you'll see when you're doing your research, some of the criticisms of a Super C is, you know, I don't have enough cargo compartment space. And because many Class A's are designed to have full pass-throughs through the side, those types of things. But I'll be really honest with you and say, in general, Class A's may have more compartment space. But I think if you look spec to spec, you go find a Class A that's also 38 foot like this one, and you go put a tape measure to each single storage compartment, you're gonna find that 
Renegade has done a really nice job of, of finding creative ways for more cargo compartment space. And it's a closer race than you think. Um, okay, um, just here on the side, just so you know, this is your uh, furnace exhaust here. Up here, you'll also see your, this has a washer and dryer, so that's your dryer vent. <clears throat> Again, another storage compartment here. So we just have back to, four storage compartments back to back that are all very large and very tall and, and pretty deep. Okay, another storage compartment. <laughs> Um, but right here, if you were wondering, that's your 3000 watt inverter. Um, so a nice upgraded inverter. Um, you don't see that size of inverter on, on, on entry level coaches like this, um, but Renegade does a nice spec with their inverter and their lithium package and solar. So straight out the box, you're getting a good capability. I wanna talk about the Truma AquaGo on-demand propane water heater. Why is this thing so cool? Well. I can tell you, if you look at a lot of our competition out there or a lot of RVs in this price point and below, they have a traditional 10 gallon propane water heater. Works pretty good, but it's a pretty quick shower. It's 10 gallons only. So um, I, I like to take a longer shower than that. So with the Truma system, this is an instant on demand hot water system. So as long as you have propane, as long as you have water, you can take as long and as hot of a shower as you want. Um, and Truma has been a great brand for us. Um, and I'm really, really proud that Renegade put this on uh, this Super C. Moving down the line here, talk about the outside entertainment center. Um, <clears throat> love having a TV here so I can watch uh, my Denver Broncos and Boise State Broncos as well. Um, and I have a uh, Bluetooth soundbar here. Um, we have USB charge ports here. So this is a great vibe for when you're have your campfire, you have your picnic, kids running around, you're at the tailgate, <laughs> whatever. Um, I love having these things. I, I can't say good enough things about outside TVs. So next, what I wanna talk about is some of the mechanical features of this coach that uh, we haven't gone over yet. This coach has hydraulic leveling jacks from Equalizer, and I have them set down, but it's easy as pressing a button that says auto level and this coach will automatically set the jacks down and level the coach out for you. It's a total uh, pain-free, seamlessly easy process. And what's really cool is that we give you an iPad with every single coach and you can run your coach with the Firefly app from Renegade to run all the systems on the coach. And that will run the hydraulic jacks. It'll also run the awning, the slides, all the interior, exterior lights, everything like that. So when I'm at my campsite, I can run the slide out. And I, if I'm by myself, oftentimes, um, I can run the slide out and I can watch it from the outside, just like so. And I can watch to see if there's any trees or anything in my way, if space is a bit tight. I'm gonna go ahead and run the bunk slide out right here. But pretty awesome technology. And with this iPad that we give you, not only does it, do we give it to you to run this Firefly app, but also because we really care about you as the customer. It's part of our Advantage package that we give you. It comes with every new coach we sell. And loaded onto this iPad, we have exclusive videos that we've created for how to operate this thing. You know, many RV dealers or just many companies in general, they, they take care of you all the way up into the sale. And then after the sale is where you often get forgot about. And with us, that's where we really shine. Making our living in the towing industry, our customers need to be up 24 seven to make their living. And we treat our RV customers the same. We want to make sure you're fully informed and you feel totally prepared to go out in the RV world. So with every coach, we give you this iPad. It has the videos as well. It also has a 24 hour, seven day a week rotation cell phone number that we give you that all of our, our team takes turns. We pay our group to answer the phone. It's an exclusive cell number to our customers that you can call if you ever have a problem. We also give you five years of roadside assistance uh, for free. Um, 
and we give you exclusive service treatment. We take care of our customers. We really don't do outside work. We leave our shop 100% ready to service our customers. And a lot of people ask me, hey, what if I'm outside of the country or you know, outside of the state of Idaho or can I get service work everywhere else? And absolutely, your RV will not break down on you <laughs> in your home state or in your backyard um, or in our parking lot. So there, if, if, if a problem ever does occur, you give us a call and we're gonna take care of you. We can find you a um, RV service center, a mobile technician. We can get you into another Renegade dealer. We can get you to Renegade themselves. They're great at taking customers on tours and um, keeping you, uh, getting your coach back up and ready. Like there's so many options that we do. Um, Jamie, Jeff, everyone in our service, Dave in our service department, all there to take care of you. Um, and we stand behind our product. But wanted to share a little bit about the Firefly, why it's so cool. Um, and we can run this whole coach off of the iPad and it connects to your phone as well, but this comes with every coach. Now let's go ahead and check the inside out. Okay, we're in the 38BB, the bunk bed model Valencia. Obviously the slides are in, but I wanna show you how much space and how much you can use this coach when the slides are in because uh, a lot of you are like me, you're on the go, you wanna be able to use this thing with the slides in so you don't have to sacrifice uh, doing anything with the slides out. So let's go over that. Uh, just first thing to point out, um, there's over seven foot of interior height. I'm 5'10", just to give you a, a, a perspective, but seven foot of interior height, really nice, um, just for headroom. Um, plenty of space here. Um, I can still access my refrigerator, a little tight, I can still get there can access my freezer, no problem. Microwave, cooktop, all those things. We'll go over this more in detail. I can still access my washer and dryer. Um, I can still access the bunk beds for the kids to take a nap. Um, I can still, more importantly, access the bathroom. Um, no problem, easy to step in. And then finally, I sure could access the whole bed here. So I can easily get inside and be able to use the bed with the slides in. So Renegade's done a nice job of making this thing totally usable with the slides in. Now let's slide this thing out and talk about the rest of it. All right, we got the slides open. Let's take a look at this thing. The first thing I wanna talk about is just what interior package this one has. Um, this is the Hampton decor package. So you're gonna get this, this gray furniture, which is really becoming our, one of our most popular color packages is the gray furniture. Renegade uses maple wood cabinetry. Um, and this is the lake wood stain color, um, which I think is a very nice modern look. Um, they all the window valances have a nice touch to them and design um, a very good modern looking coach. <laughs> um, talking about the furniture just on this side of the coach, this is a slide a bed sofa. So this will actually fold out to a bed and um, become a sofa. It's also, honestly, you could probably sit three people here, but it's a very nice, it's comfortable. It's got a little bit of a recline to it cup holders. I have USB charging port right there. Um, I have reading lights above my head. And with the multiplex panel, all these lights are dimmable as well. So I can really, you know, set the light to my particular setting. But I have sleeping area here. This is, we spec this coach to be the most amount of sleeping you can get in here. With the over cab bunk, you can sleep one person there. You can sleep two people here. This is a dinette, but it also converts into a bed. Um, it's simple, you push this down, cushions make it flat. It is a smaller area, so it's probably good for kids, grandkids, or even a dog. <laughs> um, but you could sleep a kid here, and then of course with the two bunk beds, you can sleep two kids there, or you know maybe short people, I, I can fit in it. <laughs> um, and then you have of course the king bed in the back. So you, know, you got one, two, three, 
uh, four, five, six, seven, or eight people you can sleep in this coach. And that's how we designed this thing. Um, but tons of outlets throughout the coach. We have uh, carbon monoxide sensors, propane sensors, um, fire alarms, or smoke alarm sensors, I should say. Um, so coach is fully uh, up to code. Um, we have storage in both of these areas here under pull-out drawers. And the cushions can store there too as well. Okay, you also have, throughout the windows in this coach, you have a day shade just like so and then a nightshade. So privacy at night or even just during the day if you want to take a nice nap. But they easily go up very um, simple and to the point. <laughs> but uh, lots of opening windows in here, uh, lots of fans in for good ventilation. And with the tall ceiling height, um, it doesn't feel stuffy in here. Okay, scooting on out. Next, let's talk about the floor. Renegade's done a nice job in the Valencia. This is a, is a, a vinyl floor, a one-piece floor. Um, looks like a tile floor. I really like the look and it accentuates uh, the Lakewood cabinetry and everything. Moving to this side of the room, I want to talk about the washer and dryer. Now, you can option this without the washer and dryer. That comes standard. No washer and dryer, and it just has shelving. However, we oftentimes spec these with washer and dryers. We like them. Um, makes the coach a little bit more versatile. Um, but you have your washing machine here, your dryer here. Um, you can run these uh, when you're plugged into shore power or running your generator. Um, you can run these going down the road, um, but love having a washer and dryer on board. Moving down the road here, <clears throat> refrigerator. This is a 19 cubic foot refrigerator, and this is a residential refrigerator. So it's currently, as we're here, um, we don't have the generator plugged in. Um, it's nice and cold. Um, this is just running off our lithium batteries and inverter and our uh, solar panels. So um, no more uh, dual fuel or propane over electric. This is just a straight residential refrigerator and uh, we can run these because of the lithium battery packages we put in these now. Also, big time freezer. It's a really good size. We have an ice maker right here as well. And a nice locking mechanism for the fridge. Okay, uh, right up here we have just extra storage space um, for whatever you need. And then let's flip around here and show you the other appliances. So here we have a convection oven slash microwave. Um, in many coaches you're going to see now I've got, gotten rid of the traditional oven um, because these convection microwaves work so well. Um, so this doubles as a microwave oven. Here we have a Dometic uh, propane stove. And what's really neat is Renegade's done a nice job of providing you with dedicated storage spot for these. They just go just like so. But a three burner propane cooktop, very reliable, been around for a long time. Um, we like this Dometic one in particular. But the great thing of having this is that when you don't want to have a stove, you have these nice covers for it to increase your countertop space. Um, we also have uh, two outlets right here for you. We have a small window, so while you're cooking, you can look out the window. This opens up as well. Um, these guys right here um, for your sink. Put them here and you could put those in the storage space if you need to. Um, let's talk about the cabinets up on top really quick. Um, this is just a nice storage spot for whatever you may need. And then um, right here is where a lot of the magic happens uh, for your audio and video. Um, here we go. Right here we have the DVD player. Um, that connects to the TV. This is our WineGuard Traveler satellite dish. Um, and this one's spec for DirecTV. We can flip that to Dish Network if you have that. But 
you press that button and a big satellite dish comes up. This is the best satellite dish we can spec on this coach. Um, and really on all of our coaches, actually. The WineGuard Traveler, it's like a $3,000 option, um, but it connects to DVR, it con connects to three or four satellites. So it gives you the best reception and it uh, also allows uh, HD and recording capabilities with Direct TV and Dish Network. Um, the only disadvantage to it is you can't use it when you're going down the road, but um, it gives you a lot more power for more channels and things like that. <clears throat> Also, this coach does have internet on it. It's, uh, there's a little button up there to turn it on, but it's the WineGuard Connect 2.0. Um, and you can use your uh, uh, cellular company, so Verizon or AT&T. WineGuard also has their own subscription service, but um, it's simple as activating a hotspot. Um, so you can use a SIM card and you have uh, cellular internet on board. Um, a great option for people that want to do remote work or that people want to have stay connected, but it sits right on top of it. It's so as long as you have cell service, you have internet, um, and you can turn it on and off depending on, um, your, your carrier, but love having internet on board. I can connect all these smart devices, um, on this coach to that, that internet device. These drawers here all pull out drawers here. And what we love about Renegade is they use all real wood. They have, Amish crafts people that make these cabinets and drawers all in house here, but nice, nice storage here. Um, Renegade's really about functionality. And so they put their, your uh, breaker switches and your fuse panels here with wiring diagram here to show you where, what everything does. So if there is a, a issue with the coach, you can call us on that cell phone number and we can walk you through any codes or anything that might need to get reset <clears throat> here is more storage space and a trash can space um, dedicated trash can a little bit of storage right there as well the television um, as i mentioned it's a smart tv it also comes out on a pull out here so i can pull it out and angle it so that all everybody in the coach can can see uh See it, and it's connected to the satellite dish as well. Bluetooth sound bar, so even if you just want to listen to music, but easy to put back, just simply locks like so. Now, let's talk about the over the cab bunk, which really makes this Valencia so versatile. Um, if you're interested in this floor plan, the bunk bed model, you probably have people coming with you. Uh, that's why you're getting the bunk bed model. But even if you choose one of the other three or four floor plans we offer, you still get this bunk bed over the top. And even if you're not hauling people, I like it just for extra storage. Um, and it's a really nice integrated system. So <laughs> the padding on the wall, the carpet, um, Renegade's also done a powered window shade here with LED lights on the top. It's a nice environment to be at, be in and look at. Over the years, over the cab bunks have looked pretty basic and more of like an afterthought. This is really integrated well into the coach. We have LED strip lighting throughout the top. So it's just like a nice place to even be at. Um, storage space. Um, there's USB charts in here to charge your device. Um, I can access all my panels here. There's a mini TV up there, a privacy curtain. But let's show you what the bed looks like. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here. Slide this over. There we go. But a nice bed, nice whole storage area. Um, so you could almost get two people in there, um, but you could also take these mattresses out and just throw things on top of here. And then if you could keep it up here and have a ton of storage, and it's really not too bad to get inside of the chassis here. Obviously they have that cutout, so if you don't have a ton of things going here, it's just easy to slide there. There's pins that lock it down and you're good to go. So very versatile. Um, it's a nice aerodynamic shape. And uh, on the outside, I think it just looks cool too. Pretty much the whole ethos of this coach is being a bunk bed model, right? And the size of these is really, really good. An adult can sleep here. Um, these are 30 inches wide and they're 80 inches long. So six foot, 
five inches, call it. Um, so you can sit there, but lot, it's a nice environment to be in. Both have integrated windows. Um, they both have privacy curtains, both have their own televisions, um, outlets. Um, and then of course, for maximum storage, um, you have drawers here as well for just maximizing your closet space. Um, LED lights. Um, if you do custom order a Vienna, uh, Valencia from us, you can also order this to be a closet and not a bunk bed setup. Um, but even if you don't want to do bunk beds, you can take these mattresses out and just another place to make storage. So let's check out the bathroom. Okay. So first thing to talk about the bathroom, it's a all in one unit. Um, so I have my macerator toilet here. I have uh, my sink and it matches the solid surface there. I have a little bit of storage area here. I have pull out drawers as well. So right there, outlets, hook, storage here, vanity for things like that. I have a uh, Max Air Deluxe fan here for ventilation. Um, we all know why we would need that in here. Um, to give you a good perspective of leg room, right? Again, I'm 5'10", but a nice area to be in. I'm not uh, compromising leg space here. <laughs> okay, let's hop in the shower. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I don't have the exact dimensions of the shower, but I'm 5'10", but with the skylight, um, I still have plenty of room. And again, I don't have the width, but here's just to give you some space. Um, we have this adjustable shower head in here. Um, and then, you know, you can use this to do, um, and remember we have the Truma AquaGo hot water heater in here. So, um, a very, very nice shower, integrated storage shelves, very nice shower. On our way to the bedroom, I want to show you the Firefly panel. And for 2023 and up, they have two of these panels, um, which is nice for, uh, multiple people be able, being able to control the coach from multiple spots, but this Firefly panel, you can do everything you need to for the most part. So from controlling all of your lights to seeing your uh, temperature within the coach, monitoring your batteries, turning on the generator, managing your, your water tanks, your propane tanks, everything is all in this smart system. And uh, you have tons of control um, and options through everything, um, controlling slide outs, leveling jacks. And as I mentioned, um, you can connect our iPad to it. You can connect your phone to it. So it becomes very mobile friendly. You can use it outside the coach. Um, but RV technology has gone uh, way up in the last 10 to 10 years or so. Okay. Moving on. Um, bedroom, master bedroom. Uh, this is a king bed. It's 72 by 75. So a good size king bed. We have a nice mirror in the back, so hopefully you can see Scott back there. Um, but each one has nightstands. Um, each nightstand has a outlet there. So we have a nice storage compartment along the top of your head too. Um, goes straight across. So you can store long things here. You each have uh, reading lights here. You can adjust these as well. And throughout the coach, you have this multiplex paneling um, and they do different things, but at your bed, when you're sleeping, you have a lot of controls to things like starting your generator and turning on your water pump. There's a lot more control from here, from being in the comfort of your bed. Um, but Renegade made this a nice spot so that you have ample spots for charging. You could put a CPAP machine on some of these things. Um, and you have outlets there for that machine as well. Um, so I think they did a good job with the master bedroom. Um, and moving on along, I also wanted to just show you just with Renegade, <clears throat> they put their water tanks underneath the bed, uh, which is great for uh, four season traveling, but they've done a nice upgrade. Um, they've made, they've pushed the water tanks back a little bit and they created this as more storage space here. So you can st store large things here. So a nice upgrade over the years from Renegade. Okay. Um, Really this point here is just showing you your his and hers closet. Um, so you have two closet areas to hang up clothes. 
or if you're my wife, it's hers and hers. Um, <laughs> but lots of storage space here, a nice place to set your, your phone and things like that. Charging ports, um, smart TV window. This is also where your egress window is and it's actually big enough to fit a human through. <laughs> so good job, Renegade. On that, we have uh, <clears throat> down here your audio video cabinet tree, um, extra storage in a pull-out drawer. All right, now let's go to the chassis, go look at what the cab's got and go for a drive. I wanna just take a moment and talk about some extra things on the exterior of the coach. So let's talk about dimensions. As I mentioned, this is a 38 foot overall coach. So bumper to bumper, 38 foot. And you're probably wondering how tall is it? Well, to the tallest point, which would be your air conditioners or your wine guard, it's 12 foot 10 inches in uh, exterior height. Um, and talking about the construction of this thing, Renegade uses aluminum cross members. So it uses aluminum tube construction and it has, the side, why you see this like seamless look with the frameless windows, it looks like almost one piece with, is it's a vacuum bonded fiberglass. Um, so they uh, put the fiberglass on and they put it in this big vacuum bag and vacuum it. And that's why you get this really nice seamless look. And as I mentioned before, Renegade does a great job with their paint design and structure. Um, the Valencia, they also did a nice spec for how long the wheelbase is. So from the center of the front axle to the center of the rear axle, that makes this coach very, very maneuverable. Um, and this S2RV chassis gives you a 55 degree turning radius or wheel cut in the front axles. So this coach is really specced for convenience. It's a nice size in terms of overall length, but it turns really well as um, in addition. So, uh, Wanted to mention the over the cab bunk that comes standard on every Valencia and it looks really cool. Um, on the front of it, you'll see that they have that, that windshield or that glass. It's really increased the look of these things and these don't look like your grandpa's RV. Um, these are a very sport design, sport oriented, very, they know Super C customers. If you're like us, we like performance, we like power, we like things that can tow and we like things that look cool. Um, and that are also very functional. And that is Valencia to a T. Okay, in the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go take this thing out for a drive. Let's go climb a hill. Let's see how this thing really does. Um, all right, so here we go. We're driving the Valencia, the 38BB. And it's a really nice day today. We really are going to start doing more of these driving videos with you so you can get a really good perspective from sitting at home, you know, how do these things really do? So I'm going to take you down our normal test drive path and we're going to go down uh, some mountain home roads. Uh, they're not the best, I'll tell you. Um, we're going to make some turns. We're just going to talk. It's just like you're sitting in here in the passenger seat with me. But. Um, we're gonna get on. We're gonna go on some city roads. We're gonna go uh, on the freeway, and we're gonna climb a hill because I don't even know all of you want to do that. <laughs> um, but one of the things, you know, why we're gonna talk about this? Why should you buy a Super C? Right? We've have a lot of videos out there, and maybe this is your first one. So with the Super C, we talked about reliability and the service being able to access the engine, being able to tilt the hood, access the drive line, having access to Freightliner dealer network, Cummins network, small diesel shops can work on these. But we also wanna talk about driving performance. And again, I'll tell you that Freightliner builds this exact chassis the M210, the, in the M2106, which is the commercial version of this. and ergonomics, the design is exactly the same. And these are built for truck drivers and towing companies that make their living every day. So driving them, they need to be comfortable. And people are driving these for two to 300,000 miles in a single lifespan for the truck. So with that, the way that the windshield is 
the windshield placement, it's great visibility. Um, the seating position is very, very comfortable. Um, and we're sitting on an air ride seat. And some of you have never experienced that before, but air ride seat takes away the need for having a, an air suspension or something like that. This is a very comfortable seat and it's adjusted for my weight. So I can pump it up with more air with just the switch of a button. Um, a lot of our customers are first time RVers and they're not always truck drivers. So when you get in one of these, you, you, you ask yourself, hey, can I drive a truck? Right, I mean, is this, you know, and we'll be honest with you, like whenever we have a new service person or a new salesperson, we go for a drive. And you'll be surprised in hearing from our customers how easy these things are to hop in and go. These feel very identical to driving your, your car or your SUV or your pickup truck uh, for a lot of reasons. One, the hood's out in front of you. Um, the axles are out in front. When you drive a Class A, you're sitting over the top of the axles and you have this great big windshield in your face. It's a very odd experience. Um, your perspective is a little bit different. Usually the mirrors are sitting out way in front of you um, versus like this, the mirrors are to my side. Um, it feels very natural. And while we're driving, you're gonna hear that there's not a, you don't hear many creaks or groans. You don't hear a ton of engine noise. Um, this is a very, very quiet experience. Um, we have Scott in here sitting next to me and we can have a very nice, easy, casual conversation. And a lot of that has to do again with seating position. Our seats are very close together, which makes for a nice experience, especially when I'm driving with my wife. Um, we can hear each other very well. And many class A's or just normal class C's that don't have this, like have this style of chassis, the seating position is way out wide you are further apart and you usually sit way over the top of the tire. And not only from your perspective is that weird, but you get so far away from each other that it just becomes difficult to hear one another. Um, now let's talk a little bit about how this thing turns. Um, as we mentioned, we're 38 foot, right? But this is the optimal size, I would say, for turning radius. So this S2 RV chassis has a 55 degree wheel cut. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but I can make easy left turns and right turns without having to get way wide. I don't have to take much of my lane up when I'm making a right turn. Um, Anybody can not, you do not have to have experience driving a truck or you do not have to have experience driving an RV to be able to successfully drive these. Um, they're very intuitive and it feels just like your truck, as I mentioned. Um, and we're going at a nice easy pace here, uh, 35 miles an hour here. Um, but one of the things I love too about this is a, is a gigantic steering wheel. Um, it, it's very comfortable for me to hang on to. This is a leather wrapped steering wheel um, versus having a really tiny steering wheel. Um, this makes me feel like I'm in control. And we're gonna go ahead and take a pretty sharp right turn here um, that actually goes back towards the road. And you're gonna see, I'm just gonna just take a quick right here. And I'm still within my lane here, so very easy. And this was a, you can see the road's pretty rough, but I'm not, I'm not really feeling any of these bumps. This thing just eats gravel roads up. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it rides like a S-Class Mercedes, but with these airline seats, many people talk about how surprised they were at how comfortable this is. <laughs> you hear me squeaking there. Um, but one of the things I love about driving these trucks, to be really honest with you, is just, again, seating position. I'm sitting up higher, and so I'm able to see over many people. Um, I can see way out in front of me. And you get to see country that nobody else gets to see because you are sitting up this high. Um, it's a very safe and comforting feeling for me and my family when we're going down the road. And 
Honestly, what I can tell you from feedback from all of our customers that have traded in their Class A's or have sold their Class A buses um, to buy a Super C like this, it was all because they said, while they're driving, yes, it's great when you're parked, but when you're driving, you can't make an eight hour trip without feeling worn out at the end of the day. And if you're anything like us, and I think you are if you're watching this, you, are, you want something that when you get to point A to point B, you feel refreshed at the end of that trip. We have a lot of our customers that want to get away for the weekend and they, their, their destination might be six or eight hours away. Um, and you want to make that trip all in one day. And by the time you get there, you want to feel like you've got the rest of your evening. And we've had customers, uh, one of my good friends, um, they, they drive one of their renegades from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina to their other property in uh, Sandpoint, Idaho. And they can make that trip in a couple of days, no problem. And Ken always tells me that he's just blown away with how well these drive at a cross country trip. And this Valencia, I can, I can be really honest with you, even though it is the entry level point, man, it, you're getting all the benefits of a Super C, you really are. Sure, as I mentioned before, there's levels to this performance deal, right? We have coaches that have 600 horsepower. But I'm telling you from the honest truth, if you're looking for a very, very comfortable experience and you don't want to tow a 20,000 pound stacker, uh, and you don't want to spend 800 to 500,000, this really is a super C in every sense of the word. Um, and there's other things that you might make your decision that are not just chassis related, you know, such as, you know, maybe you want aqua hot or uh, other things and maybe you want to get away from propane and whatnot. And, and we have other models like the Verona and up that can get you those things. But really from a value perspective, it doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. And you haven't seen us do a ton of videos on the Valencia. Honestly, it was hard for us to get one and keep one in stock. They're, they're a very, very popular unit. And I hope if you're watching this, if you're looking at, you might be looking at some of our other competition like the Dynamax Force or the, you know, the Integra product or of course the Jayco Seneca. Um, There's a reason to upgrade to Renegade if you're in this price class. Renegade just does such a great job of marrying the chassis to the RV. Um, as far as quality and craftsmanship of work, um, like when we're going down the road, you don't hear many creaks or rattles from the RV. You really don't. Compared to some of those other products, um, Renegade just does a great job of marrying the two, the conversion part. And that's really because they've been doing this Freightliner chassis conversion since early 2000. They've been, they're really some of the first people to do this thing. All right, let's get on the freeway here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm floored right now. Let's see how quick it gets us up to uh, 65, 70 miles an hour. I'm getting on the on-ramp here. Turn my blinker off so we can see but we're getting on i-84 here in southern idaho just hit 55 going nice and easy here and again my foot's to the floor I want to give you a full perspective of how long it takes to get up to 70 miles an hour just hit 65 Nice and easy. All right, there we go, we hit 70. Awesome. And as I mentioned, I think this thing does really well at 70. We can get up to 80 if we want, but I like traveling in the truck lane and being right within the trucks. And I have enough juice if I want to get past somebody but traveling with the trucks is where I like to stay, right in line. It keeps me with a nice even flow of traffic. Okay, freeway driving. I think really where this thing excels, and we're in the southern part of Idaho, which is the windiest part of the state. 
Uh, so we're gonna take you into a nice headwind here. Cause I want you to get a good perspective. When you're traveling across the country, you're not always gonna have uh, San Diego, California weather every time. <laughs> so I think this is where the Valencia shines. Remember this thing's 26,000 pounds, but in a straight line on the freeway, you really don't feel any sort of wind. It's not pushing me all over the road. The aerodynamics of this thing are really, really good. I'm, I have a, I'm going into the wind right now, um, and you don't see me trying to control this thing all over. And there's no extra, you know, Class A's a lot of times have electronic stability, ride controls, and all this thing, versus these don't have any of that. These are just built from Freightliner already ready to go. Um, but honestly, this what makes your traveling down the road so much easier is, is the weight of this vehicle, um, the suspension setup, the air seat, make this thing a real breeze. Let's talk a little bit about the technology in this thing. So collision mitigation is not on this coach. Um, but we have all the things like cruise control. Um, I have my backup camera and I can always turn that on if I want to, um, so I can see what's behind me. Cause of course there's no rear view mirror on this. Um, it's pretty basic as far as your, your instrument controls, you know, uh, all my controls for heating and air conditioning or physical dials, which to be honest, you have to wonder if we're not getting too far away from in the automotive world, everything's a screen now, we're losing physical buttons. And this is just, <laughs> this is just kind of back to basics again, as far as enjoying your driving experience and touching physical buttons and everything's very simplistic and there's not a lot of technology doing too much for you. You can just really enjoy this drive. You know, one thing I'll also mention about why you should buy a Super C is, let's talk about the windshield really quick. If you're comparing this to a Class A, you know, we replaced the windshield on one of these the other day, it was 150 bucks. You know, Freightliner has these parts regularly in stock. I mean, if you think about how many Freightliners are on the road doing work, there's hundreds of thousands of them. Versus a Class A bus with those ginormous windshields, they're so specific and they're made custom. And a lot of them are four to $5,000 and they're really hard to come by. They're custom built. Um, Safe Light and <laughs> Safe Light Auto Glass does not have those in stock. Um, now that's just a minor thing, but I think it's something you should think about because you're always going to be stressed when you get that rock chip in the windshield. Versus this, you can really rest assured that you're gonna have the windshield in your, the next parts store. It just is what it is. And that goes for a lot of the things such as um, headlights, tail lights, suspension parts, engine parts, those things are in stock. And honestly, you know, some people say, oh, Class C's with that engine in the front, you're gonna have all that engine noise. I mean, you can tell me in the comments if you hear it, but it's really pretty non-existent. And to be really honest with you, I like having the engine noise. <laughs> It helps me get a good perspective of, I like hearing the revolutions. I like hearing the engine gain power. You know, it, it's not everybody's mechanically inclined, but I like hearing the clicks and the bangs and the, and the booms, you know what I mean? It's, it's all part of an experience. I mean, and honestly, if you are watching this video and you're seriously considering a Super C, it's because you want this driving experience. That's really what it is.
I mean, we could talk day in and day out about the differences of the RV portion, you know. But you're, you're going to join the Super C Club because you want something that can pass people on the freeway and feel good about it. You want something that when you get to your destination, you're not worn out. <laughs> you want something that's reliable. You want something that's easy to get serviced. We can also talk a little bit about safety, you know, and let me just ask you, if you were going to run into something in a front end collision, with these, you have your engine and a hood in front of you. In a class A, really the only thing you have separating you is that ginormous class windshield and a very small dash. Hopefully you can get a little bit of taste of our country. I know some of you are watching from different parts of the United States and some of you we see are from different parts of the world. So I hope you get a little clip of Southern Idaho. So next I wanna, something I haven't talked about yet and it's probably one of my top five favorite features of this coach in particular, is this thing has an engine brake. And some of you heard the term Jake brake. Similar to this, a little bit different mechanism though. Um, this is a single stage engine brake. And what that does is it uses the engine's brake and exhaust system to help slow you down. It it's integrates with the transmission to help you downshift. But right now, I'm going down a bit of a descent here. Not a big one, but I just wanted to turn it on so you could feel it. But that way you're not riding your brakes the whole way down this thing. And to be honest with you, a lot of you have never driven 26,000 pounds. <laughs> Leaving that engine brake on is a very comforting feeling because it just feels like somebody's got a parachute on the back of you. It's a very, very nice, safe, relaxing feeling to have extra supplemental braking. This does have air brakes, as we mentioned, great brakes, but having that engine do some work for you and keep you at a nice speed, when you're, especially when you're going down <laughs> like Wolf Creek Pass or something, going at a nice maintained speed where I don't have to be riding my brakes down a huge mountain pass, it's, it's priceless, man. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're just cresting over a hill right now. And right now, like I have no, there's no, I have nothing going on the brakes right now. Like I'm just coasting. I'll just turn it off right now and. Like these things are built for drivers. <laughs> this is the driver's motor home. And th you know, I talk about why is an eight hour trip easy and it's things like this engine brake. You know, if you're going a lot of mountain passes, which a lot of you are going to be, just is what it is when you're traveling, having that engine brake just to have a little extra buddy is, is really nice. I also want to mention, we get a lot of questions of, do you need a commercial driver's license to drive these? And the short answer is no, you do not because you're buying an RV. <laughs> um, it's the same as a Class A. It really is. Um, now, I will say, some of your states may require a, what they call a Class B license or a motorhome endorsement. So you'll have to check with your local DMV if you need a motorhome license. But no commercial driver license or CDL is needed. So right now is a perfect example of like why I love having an engine brake. We just came off 75 miles an hour off the freeway. I got a really short off ramp here and it's just doing all the work for me. It's just slowing me right down. Nice, easy pace. Just wonderful. Welcome to Hammett. We're gonna head. We're gonna head back here and climb Hammett Hill. You know, one thing I want to mention too, when you're looking at all of our coaches from Renegade or Newmar or whatever. Again, we have coaches that are 600 horsepower and 1850 foot-pounds of torque. But I want you to know that no matter what, the way these things are tuned and geared, you know, it's not the acceleration isn't like you're in a. GT Mustang, even with 600 horsepower, they really 
they are all about that torque buildup and built moving 30,000 pounds. It's, it's kind of like driving a locomotive. But like right now, even in the Valencia with 800 foot pounds of torque, like I can get up to speed very quickly. It's not neck breaking fast, but none of them are, even the 600 horsepower. <laughs> All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, climbing a hill. Gotta know how it climbs a hill, right? We're gonna climb Hammett Hill here. It's a couple miles long. And it's about a four to 5% grade, okay? Now, we're gonna get a run at the hill, but we'll show you a little bit about what it looks like. But in more of our videos, we're gonna climb Hammett so you can kind of see what they're like, what they all do. Always recommend getting a little bit of a run at the hill. We've got a little Chevy Cavalier in front of us. No problem. This thing's gonna turn to three lanes here pretty soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass him, why not? Pass this old boy in the Chevy going up Hammett Hill. Why not? Look at that. We did it. All right. First little stretch here, climbing the grade. We're at 74. Maintaining speed. No issue going into the wind. Still holding 74. Some of you are gonna ask, what's it like with the trailer? I don't have it hooked up to a trailer today, but this next stretch of hill is where it really starts to climb. So I'll just, show, I'll just tell you what it's at. So we're at 74 still, kind of plateaued. Now we're gonna start climbing. Gained a little bit of speed there, 75. Now we've hit the hill. So we'll start dropping some speed here, okay? I'm in the middle lane here, 71, 70. Again, we don't have any water in here, but that really won't make a difference, honestly. Okay, we're 65. climbing 61 almost to the top of the hill 60 57 there we go we made it to the top of Hammett Hill 57 and now we're back up to speed So there we go. By itself, you can see that really pretty thick stretch of hill. We did slow down from 75 all the way to 55 at the very, very top of the stretch. Um, that's a pretty normal hill you're gonna see. So that's gonna give you an honest perspective of what this thing can do. Um, now with a trailer, right, a fully loaded, maybe a 10,000 pound trailer, you know, I think you'll definitely be around that 50 mile an hour mark. Um, I think there's other factors too, right? This is a pretty dang windy day. We're going into the wind. Um, but man, I'm not going 35. I'm not dogging it. But we want to get you, we want to be honest with you guys and show you what these things really do. We're here to make sure you're fully informed. So that's why we want to climb a hill. And you know what? Even if you watch this video and you're still not sure, come on out and fly out and see us because 
We'll pick you up from the airport. We'll go, we'll take you on Hammett Hill. Tell Marty or Ashley or Sam that you want to go see Hammett Hill. And we'll go climb that sucker. In any coach that you want. I hope that gave you a good sense of what these things can really do from the city drive to what's it like on the freeway going flat and you know what's it like with the engine brake going down Hammett Hill and then what's it like climbing back up that thing. If you're wondering is the Valencia right for me? Ultimately I think you got to say hey am I willing to you know what type of drive am I expecting right? Do you want to go 75, 80 miles an hour up Hammett Hill? We have coaches that can do that. But if you're a person that just likes cruising the freeway, 65, 70 miles an hour, and you want a great driving experience that's comfortable, a good turning radius, and you want to supersede, and specifically you want a Renegade, A Valencia is just a great, great option. Heading back home after Hammett. I'm gonna turn my engine brake on again. Here we come. Well, as we're getting towards the end of our drive here, I really just wanna say thank you to everyone that watched the video, all of you subscribers. Um, we love seeing the comments, and we love getting your feedback. But, you know, more importantly, we just hope that these videos you find some value in and that you can get you can make an educated decision when you're spending three hundred thousand um, dollars you know we're going to keep doing more and more videos like this um, more driving videos a lot of you've asked for that um, you know please what will help us to keep going is please leave some comments like and subscribe to the channel um, subscribe to our email blast follow us on social media because we have a bunch of content coming out all the time and then more importantly I'll tell you as well <clears throat> come visit us right now is a great time to buy an RV um, we have a lot of inventory ready to sell um, we got a couple Valencia's ready to go uh, for the first time in a long time we've had some Valencia's ready for sale um, this one in particular is for sale and this one is 265,000. We're gonna pull back into IWS, but again, wanna say thank you everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we hope to see you out on the road.